Hi guys. Um, this evening we're going to be going through the food optimizing book. The food optimizing book is the one in your new member pack that has the complete um, program as regards the foods that are free and speed or healthy extras or sins. Lots of hints and tips. This, as I refer to in groups sometimes, is the actual Bible. You will be referring to this book forever because you will always find something new in it. This explanation is aimed at obviously new members who have joined and have got this in the in their the book pack and are trying to learn the program to optimize their weight. And it's also for those members who are not so new and maybe want to get back to basics and really understand the food optimizing program so they get the max weight loss that they can achieve. So I'm going to switch now to an A4 version of this book just for the, the purpose of demonstration. So bear with me. Now, when I open up this book, on page five, it tells us about the power of um, free food. So basically, once we know what free foods are, and I'll be explaining those in detail, we can eat as much of those as we'd like at any time. No calorie counting for us, lads, thank God. So no weighing, counting or measuring. Eat as much of them as you like with no sort of conscience. Um, when somebody would look at your food and go, oh my God, you can't be eating that plate of food. You absolutely can. As long as we know that it's our free or speed foods. So how free is that? So next we move on to page um, six and seven. On page seven, we see a lovely picture here uh, of our typical Slimming World fry. So on this um, fry, you will see we have um, beans, which you will be glad to hear. Beans and peas, lentils are all free foods. Um, we have two eggs, which are free and unlimited and protein. Um, we have um, our one third speed. Speed is our lower calorie foods. Typically it would be sort of your vegetables, your salads and the less sweet foods. Here we have some mushrooms and tomatoes. We are filling up at least a minimum guys on our plates of one third speed. Um, the only thing there now that would need to be sinned would be the equivalent of the sausages. So these are full fat sausages and they would be approximately four to 11 cents each, which is very high. Um, if we swap to our low fat sausages, we can get them for anything from three to a half to one and a half cents. The likes of, I have a pack from my fridge here, the Hodgins low fat sausages, a cent each. Loch Nans were a lovely skinny jumbo sausage, one cent each. So why would we be wasting four to 11 cents on our regular sausages? And we could also have had some rashers, we could have had peppers and mushrooms here as well. And all this food on this page is the equivalent of our old habits, the old stodgy pie and chips. So here we go, food optimize. The symbols I want you to look out for are on page nine, guys. So the first one is speed. Now when we see that S symbol in the circle there, happy days. Because that's the lowest in calories of our free food. We can eat as much of that as we like and, and go to this food as your, your sort of snack foods, as your in-between foods and making up obviously the, the one third speed that you need at your meals. The next symbol we see is P for protein. Protein would be our meat, our fish, our eggs, all of those which are all free foods. Don't cut back on your protein because protein keeps us fuller for longer and it helps us to process the fats as well. We also see symbol an F, which is for fibre, which obviously we need to keep everything moving in the right direction. And a couple of glasses of water will help in that regard as well. And C for calcium. So calcium is for our healthy bones and teeth. Typically, lads, this is where we bring in what are called our healthy extras. Our healthy extra A's and our healthy extra B. And we'll go into detail about those in a few minutes. So bear with me. Now, they explain just in a very quick overview what the program entails so part one which is the main part of the program and this is where we should be actually eating most of our foods and our snacks it's our go-to place in page 12 to 25 of this book it lists out all our free and speed foods so they're as i said earlier free and unlimited so eat as much of them as you like to your appetite no way in counting or measuring how fabulous is that and having at least a third speed in your plate now, if I was you, lads, I would put your third speed plate on your plate first and then put in your food around it. Don't be putting full uh, plate of dinner and then scooting it up a little bit for the one third speed because we want to actually replace a third of our standard dinner with 
good, healthy, filling, low-calorie foods. The next part for program is where we actually need to weigh, measure and take control. So we have what are called our healthy extras. So we need to give us a balanced diet, calcium and fibre in our diet. So we need to bring in two portions of calcium, which we call our healthy extra A's, and one portion of fibre, which we call our healthy extra B. Think of it like a school report, we get two A's and one B. So two lots of calcium, one lot of fibre. And after that then, the big part of the programme that's in your control and will very much dictate uh, the rate at which you, you lose your weight or could possibly even put on your weight, uh, or slow it down, are our SINs. S-Y-N-S. It's the abbreviation of in synergy with the programme, but it does actually sound quite like SINs, S-I-N-S. Um, so we have up to 16 stone away with 5 to 15 SINs a day to use. We don't carry over the unused SINs, um, but it's a limit rather than a target. Now, if I was you, I wouldn't maximise out your SINs every day because basically, they're in addition to the programme. We should be able to eat so much food on that free and speed food and including our healthy extras that we'll only need to occasionally go and dip into the, the extra sins pot. So decide how many of those sins are you going to try to use. Try counting them backwards because it's easier that way. Um, so if you say, for instance, bog standard days, I'm going for five or ten sins. Go ten, nine, eight, seven, because when you get to zero, you're not going to go past that. However, if you got to ten, Quite easy to go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So just a little bit of a hit. So that's three steps in the program. If you're following that program, lads, you're guaranteed to get your weight loss. And in fact, guaranteed it is. Because if you don't get your weight loss in six weeks and you have been following the program and you've been doing your diary, and we'll discuss that as well in a couple of minutes, you get your money back. And I've been a consultant for now, I'll be three years in August. I've yet to have to give uh, anybody their money back. Not that I wouldn't, but I never had to because people always do lose their weight and they follow the programme properly. So what am I talking about when I'm talking about the free and speed foods? If we go to page 13, guys, um, we're looking at our meat and poultry. That lovely P for protein sign is all over this page, so it keeps us full for longer. We've nearly the full range of our meat that we can eat. It's telling us to go for the low fat mint, so 5% fat or less. Um, in the little hints and tips, there are a lot of weight wise and health wise tips here. Do read these because they are invaluable, the tips you pick up in those. So for instance, they're telling you in the low fat mints that pour off the residue because that's your 5% fat. And that's the last thing we want to be doing is ingest more fat into our body. We want to be eating less. So we don't bring fat into the cooking of our meat. So typically we would use the likes of say fry light. So fry light is one calorie a spray. You can spray this unlimited and there are no sins in it. Now one level tablespoon of oil guys is six sins. Now if you take it that one sin is roughly 20 calories, that's 120 and I'm talking level tablespoon. Now I guarantee, guarantee you if you were like me when you were making your fry pre semi word, it would be glug 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 into the frying pan as you're doing a nice swishy mo movement, getting everything moving around the pan. You have 20 sins in that pan, guys, before you ever go with the food. Now, if you swap to a healthier way of eating or using your fry light, you can have the same food, but no 20 sins. How great is that? Small swaps, guys, will make a huge difference to your weight loss. After that, we're talking about our poultry, our game and our offal. In the poultry, all the fat is in the skin of the chicken, so be sure to take the skin off the chicken. Um, so cook the, skin, the, the chicken with its skin on, take the skin off before you eat it. If you're having drumsticks, get your friendly butcher to take the skin off the drumsticks because they're quite tricky to do. And they've got those nice sharp knives, so brilliant. Um, if you're having the likes of, say, a, a rasher, the option is to take off the rind of the rasher. It'll cost you four and a half cents for that rind. And I don't know, is it really worth it? And you know yourself, if you cut off the rind at the start, it's that horrible white floppy fat stuff. Um, but if you leave that one with the grill and it becomes that nice crispy brown stuff, you're going to eat it. Um, be careful with the medallions because people say, oh, I have the medallions. Now, I've yet to see a medallion that doesn't have a white rind at the top of it. That could cost you two cents. So get your scissors and take it off. If you're having a joint of bacon, take the fat off uh, the bacon before you put it in the pot and boil it. Otherwise the fat is going into the meat, it's going into the water and some people unwittingly would boil the vegetable in it afterwards. So what should be healthy food has actually been to a large extent contaminated by fat. So just be careful with that guys. So on to our next
exporting yes and it's fish now if you love fish then that's brilliant because quick and easy to make we would suggest that you'd have at least one portion of oily fish and um, it can be fresh or frozen if you're having it in tins guys um have it in spring water or brine because if you have it in oil anything to do with oil guys is going to attract high sins it's going to be at least four and a half sins regardless of whether as somebody said what if i rinse it out no it's actually soaked into the the, the flesh of the fish um just be careful as well guys um smoke mackerel because of the smoking it seals in the oil and there is a slight uh, amount of sins involved in that as well so on average probably about two two and a half sins per portion um, so lovely stir fries you could be making with your prawns and your seafoods and stuff like that. Um, so fill up in that and lots of protein to keep us full for longer. Next page we're going to hear that is on page 16 and 17. On 16 it tells us we can have eggs free and unlimited. Now we can make a meal of eggs. Omelettes are a great way to fill in your speed. You can cut in your, your, your uh, mushrooms, your onions, your, your peppers a little bit of a ham or even a spring of a bit of cheese and stuff in it. Um, you can have them poached boiled, whichever you like. And they're free and unlimited. Or dairy products. It's only the very plain ones, guys. So it has to be fat-free, guys, not low-fat. If it's low-fat, you could be adding in six sins. If it's fat-free, it'll be anything. If it's fat-free and natural, first of all, it'll be free, no sins. If it's fat-free and it has some bit of flavour in it, like a Muller Light, it'll cost you a half sin. Now you will have a barcode scanner and ways of looking up the sin values of the foods that you like and you'll be able to check out how much my, my uh, fat-free yogurts that I like are being, will be. So they could be anything between say a half or one and a half cents each. Great snacking food, so it's brilliant. Now getting back to the ones that we can have for free, which is better. Um, we have our fat-free natural yogurts, fat-free natural squire, fat-free natural cottage cheese, fat-free natural quark, fat-free natural um, uh, not percent fat. Greek yogurt. So a uh, one I particularly like is the Aussie one. So it's Greek not percent and this tub you can eat. It's free. But only eat to your appetite guys. Um no the next page I want to look at is the plant based protein. So if you're not a meat eater, the tip of the iceberg, there are your corn, your tofu, your jackfruits, all those are there. Um, there's a vast amount of those online. So once you've registered, you'll be able to access all that information. And there's actually 78 um, vegetarian and vegan menus online as well. So don't worry, um, there's lots of information on that. Now, the next one, which would surprise a lot of non war people, is that we can add an unlimited amount of rice pastas and grains which is brilliant and um, we can have them either fresh if we're buying them in the supermarket in the restaurant not stuff we make ourselves now guys because it has to be standardized um or we can have the dried um literally we have our pastas or noodles or couscous or spaghetti or lasagna sheets all of those free and unlimited um and the reason being because they're very low in fat per gram so yes they bulk us up they fill us up um for less so enjoy have beautiful stir fries just be careful with the noodles guys the pre-made ones that like to say walk to noodles uh, or walk to pan <laughs> noodles basically um there are small sin values in those they can be up to about two and a half cents some of them are even three cents so check those before you eat them but the dried ones are the plain fresh ones are free so excellent now the next page we're coming to lads is our vegetable page free food vegetables so that's on page uh, 19. You see that fantastic S symbol is all over those two pages and uh, in easy read form it's in alphabet order A to Z. So very easy to see is the food I want, my tomatoes, my cucumbers, my broccoli, my apples, aren't well not my apples but, but my um, potatoes are they for your speed food. And speaking of potatoes you'll see that opposite the potatoes on this page even though they are free food um, there's no S symbol which means it's not a speed food. Similarly for sweet corn and for sweet potatoes, they would be the main ones that don't have that S symbol. Now it doesn't mean we can't have them because they are free food and good for us, uh, but we do have to mine them because they're slightly higher in calories. So uh, if you're having your, your potatoes, I wouldn't be having a pot full of potatoes, but there's nothing to stop you having two. Uh, we can make up our slim world chips, chop them up in the way our mothers used to make them, season them and put them into the air for or into the oven until we get a free chip. Just be careful guys, they're free. But if you're getting the oven chips, 
um, anything you get out of the freezer has already been cooked in oil. So regardless of the, the, the good way that you're cooking them in air fryers or whatever, they will still have a sin value. So fistful of the oven chips would still incur a sin value of about uh, four and a half sins. Similarly, the likes of your banister baked potatoes, you can make them free yourself, but if you're buying the pre-made ones, um, they can have a half to one and a half sins um, per potato. Um, the next ones that we're looking at are beans, peas and lentils. They're all free as well. So loads and loads of lovely stuff that we can eat there. Um, be careful of the likes of, say, avocados, lads. There's a lot of healthy oils in those, but unfortunately, they're high in sins. So 14 sins, guys, in one avocado. So anything made with avocados, like the spatula and stuff like that, be aware of it because it will be very high in sins. Now, the most portable of all our free foods, lads, are our uh, fruits. So, again, we're going to be placing emphasis on the ones with the S symbols, the less sweet fruits, because they're the ones that are lower in calories and will get us, fill us up for less and, and get us to uh, where we want to get to and weight loss faster. But by all means, the others that don't have the sweet symbol opposite them, but are on the free food page, are still free foods. So we can have those, but in careful amounts. So the ones that um, we can eat in abandoned really, I suppose, would be our apples, oranges, pears, melons, or strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, um, or lemons, or grapefruits, all of those. Um, they're all speed. So happy days we can eat as much of those we like. Um, no, on the other hand, the sweeter ones that we could overeat would be the likes of, say, bananas, grapes, kiwis, mangoes, cherries, um, pineapple. Um, yes, we can have those, same as our potatoes and sweet corn, but because they're higher in calories, we have to be a bit careful. You can have a banana, but don't be having a bunch of bananas. So that's about it. Now, in the, the hints and tips in the Weight Wise box here, it also tells you don't juice um, down your foods, don't cook them like stewed apple, don't make smoothies out of them, because when you do that, you interfere with the fibre and the sugar, but above all, they're not counted as a free food. Reason being, Qualify as a free food, it has to keep you full and curb your appetite. It also has to help you get weight loss. So if you consider a small glass of orange juice, we're talking this size ads, it takes two and a half oranges to make that glass of orange juice. You get your glass of orange juice, you drink it back in one end, out the other end, so there's no burning of calories there. And literally you're drinking it back going, what's for breakfast? It hasn't filled you up either. Now if you ate two and a half oranges, you absolutely would feel full after that. The minute you ingest one of those oranges, your body has to break it down. It's using energy to break that down. And it's actually burning calories as it's doing it. So for the time being, keep your fruit in its natural form to maximize your weight loss. Okay. Um, next page we're going on to lads is all about seasoning up our foods for taste. There's no point in you eating your your um page in your salad or other and going, yeah, I don't know. Um why not uh, try out your, your your spices, the dried spices, we can get those around 50 cents in Albion Diddler or in Tesco's or, or, or wherever we shop. Um, so we have the likes of say our, our smoked paprikas or all seasoned spices or Chinese spices or dried garlic. Um, in fact, a lot of the foods we can get in the frozen cabinets snow that would be all chopped and ready for us as well, like our peppers and mushrooms and onions and stuff like that as well. So there's great convenience um, available out there. Um, we also have the likes of our free um, foods the likes of say our uh, bovril or marmite and um, there's oyster sauce soy sauce which is lovely and salty and um, or stock pots or stock cubes or beef melts even the jelly ones they're all free so they can be added into our dinners into our soups they make them really really nice and tasty um or sugar uh, if we're using sweetener, it's free. If we're using uh, a teaspoon of sugar a level teaspoon I'm talking knife across the spoon guys is one cent all right so if you can try and sort of uh, wean yourself off the sugar maybe and go for the sweetener but up to yourself if it's important for you to have that sugar nothing is banned in our program just sin it in all your five to fifteen cents a day or whatever your limit is and we can have tabasco vegemite worcestershire a whole range so no excuse guys for us not find our for us funny our foods blend so experiment and find out what really sort of take tickles your uh taste um, the next one is what drinks can we drink that are free and unlimited? Still in sparkling water, teas and coffees, herbal teas, or Robinsons and no added sugar cordials, or fizzy drinks. Um, so the likes of the ones that are no calories, no sugar, like our 7-Up Freeze, our Coke Zeros, even our Slimline Tonics, even our Monsters that have no calories and no sugar, 
are free. They're all free and unlimited. So that's that's our free and unlimited foods that I was talking about. Literally that section of the book. There is such a mountain of food there that we can eat. In fact, you couldn't call this program a diet because there is so much food uh, on this program. It's basically a voyage of discovery, a culinary voyage of discovery. So let's find the foods that we like. Let's 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 use those ingredients um to do recipes and and to get a little bit of adventurous and be proud of what we can actually achieve. Um, the next page there here, and uh, they're drawing your attention to how those small little swaps can make such a difference. So swapping from oil to the fried rice, a level teaspoon of oil, six cents. Going to fried rice, free. Um, if we're going from a regular Coke, seven cents to a Diet Coke, nothing. If you're having your gin and slimline tonic, slimline tonic is free. If you forget to ask for your slimline tonic, your your ordinary tonic is costing you five cents. Why would you? You know? Um, so be careful with the likes of mayonnaise, guys. A level tablespoon of mayonnaise is five cents. And I'm talking again, level, guys. Knife across the spoon. Um, it's five cents, 100 calories, right? If you uh, were having a little bit of coleslaw or potato salad out or somebody puts a slobber of mayonnaise across your sandwich, you could have 20 cents in that. Now, if you swap to the light mayonnaise, it's one cent per tablespoon, or the lighter than light mayonnaise, now you can get them in the squeezy tubs or, or little um, bottles as well, a half cent per tablespoon. So what might cost you 20 cents out would cost you one to two cents for a whole bowl at home. Um, so just be aware of those small changes. Be careful of the likes of butter. One ounce of butter is nine cents. So if you're going to a carvery and you see your, your veg is nice and shiny, ask them as the butter on the veg. Because you don't want to be eating what you think is healthy food uh, and then all of a sudden you've ruined it, you've sabotaged it because there's 18 cents inside and butter on your veg. Um, so ask them is the butter in your veg and if there is butter, tell them, I'm oh, sorry, I can't actually eat butter. Could I have mine without? And they'll be only too happy to go off and get them to you, for you and you'll have your free lunch. Brilliant. And that's the way to food optimise. Um, lots of our uh, members would also use the likes to say the laughing cow light, light if, if they are extra light, uh, if they want to use some sort of spread on the bread. Um, because uh, six of the extra light, which is the purple one, would actually be um, a head, one head the extra, or the once in each. Or there's a lovely cheese out now, lads, which is the Charleville Lighter. This one has the, the um, black pepper in it. And half of this tub, um, which is 60 grams, is a healthy egg choice. It's spreadable, you can heat it, you can use it in your soups or in your lasagnas or your pastas um, to make up a sauce for yourself. Um, and you can also get it in cheddar. You get it in supermarkets when it's an offer, it's about 150, otherwise 199. So a nice way to maybe sort of save um, sins on butter. Because for instance, um, you know the Goldie Pate of Butter? three and a half cents, the ones that you would get with your scone, and be careful that scone lasts 20 cents, um, would only drag you halfway across a, a slice of bread. So let's try and find alternatives. Um, the next one is, do your shopping list. It's so important, that's where it all starts. We might have the best intentions in the world of starting our programme today, but we go home and what do we have in the cupboard? The cupboard is bare. So we do need to make that shopping list, make sure that we get everything in that we need, our passata, our fried rice. Speaking of passata, guys, this is liquid tomato, in case you haven't seen it before. This is what forms the base of most of our red sauces for the likes of, say, our spaghetti bolognese or a lasagna. Season it up. costs about 50 cents in the shops, maybe slightly more in others. Um, and you have fresh sauce for your, your, your bolognese and for your, your um, lasagnas. If you use a jar of dal mayo, 16 cents, guys, in one jar. Um, so we don't want to be using that when we can make up our own fresh in the matter of minutes. So please do sort of make sure you get those things in um so never go shopping either in a hungry stomach lads bad idea right so that's our free and unlimited part of the program i want you to absolutely burst the banks and use those foods to their max um ability um so that we can optimize our weight loss now the next ones we have to do the next part of the program we do have to be careful they're slightly higher in calories, so we do need to weigh and measure. And well, they're not slightly, they're a lot higher in calories, so we do have to weigh and measure these. These are our healthy extras. You'll probably remember at the beginning of my conversation here, I was saying we get two healthy A choices, which is our milk, and one healthy B. So like a school report, two A's and one B. So when you go to page 28 and 29, guys, you'll see listed out milk on one page, cheese on the other, and then grab and go options as well. 
No, we do need to, to weigh and measure our milk. So if you're having low fat milk, that typically would be 250 mils. If you're having the skimmed, which is the fat free one, you get 350 mils. No. Um, the Aldi and Lidl low fat milk is actually only 1% fat, so you actually get 300 mils of that. Um, so you, that would be one healthy egg choice. We get to choose two. So if you like milk and cheese, basically you can have one of each. If you like milk and don't like cheese, two milks, no cheese. If you like cheese, two cheese, no milk. Up to yourself how you mix and match it. The grab and go options uh, are another alternative like the laughing cow light or your light triangles or three mini bay bells. Are the likes to see your half tub of your charitable creations lighter um if you are doing cheese guys be very very careful don't use the eye always weigh and measure because for instance 40 grams of reduced cheddar you might be making a lasagna you have it all to, to measure dough uh, and you're making a lasagna you spot up the top of the lasagna is a little bit of a bare spot in goes the hand out of impulse up it goes throwing it on that little scatter of cheese that you were up the corner could have cost you five cents and you're probably even unaware that you did it so just be very very careful with your weighing and measuring of those so two healthy eight choices and here's the challenge guys one healthy b choice all right now the healthy b choice if you go in the first one we're looking at here is our high fiber cereals if you went in and you um looked food searched for your cereals you could just enter in kellogg's up and come all the kellogg's cereals or the nestle cereals if there's a little grain sign opposite the cereal, then it is a healthy extra B. Otherwise, if there's not, it doesn't have enough fiber or enough sugar. So it has to be high in fiber, low in sugar. So typically our special K or cornflakes or rice krispies wouldn't make the grade. Most of them have to be weighed and measured, like 45 grams of bran flakes, 40 grams of porridge. Um, the only one that wouldn't really would be uh, the wheat bix. We can have two wheat bix as our healthy B choice. Now, if you don't use your one healthy B choice on your cereal, you might want to use it from the next page on our bread. So guys, with Slimming World, we're looking for high fiber. So it's our brown wholemeal bread. It's not whole grain, it's not half and half. It's not the bread I make at home. It's whole, whole, whole meal, sorry, whole meal. Um, so basically, if you're having McCambridge, it's 60 grams of any brown wholemeal bread. On average, a McCambridge slice would be 55 grams. So you roughly get one slice of McCambridge bread. If you're in using an ordinary, regular wholemeal slice pan, one slice of whole meal. And if you're using a reduced calorie slice pan, the likes of say the um, Brennan's Be Good or Pat the Baker or your Aldi's and Little version, then two of those slices would be the equivalent of a healthy bee choice. You could have the likes of say Fisher's Skinny Bagels. They're 130 calories per bagel, but one of these would be a healthy bee choice. The brown wholemeal or the brown wholemeal seeded. New York Deli also do a skinny um, wholemeal one as well. And if you use your 20 um, calories as one sin rule, 130 calories, 20 into 130 goes six and a half times. So if you were already after using your your um, cereal as your healthy bee choice, you have to sin in the second one. So that would be six and a half sins for this bagel then, in addition to the cereal that you have. And um, there's another nice spread out lads I want to draw to your attention. It's a... Uh, Gallagher's wholemeal sourdough and it's the small loaf the 400 gram loaf it's a fine substantial slice of bread our members are loving it you get it in Tesco's in Wilton I think definitely and in the Tesco Express and you'll also get it in most of the Dunn stores the main Dunn stores now, unfortunately I know Dunn stores in Ballincollig don't stock it only um, I think uh, Bishopstone and Douglas have them um, and I think probably uh, the Balboan outlet has it as well. And uh, it costs, I think, about one ninety five a pound. Very good to freeze, and it lasts roughly nearly a week before you see any sort of uh, a mould appearing in it. Um, so lovely, sort of toasty sandwiches and stuff like that as well with it. Now another option we can have our next page are our ribetas and our crisp breads. So maybe they would be an option for us. Alternatively, we could use our one healthy bee choice on nuts and seeds. Um, if we're, we're prepared to, to, to count our sins. Now there is the likes of say 35 unsalted peanuts. There is no way I could count those out and see an open packet of peanuts that I wouldn't be passing them and stick my hand in. But whatever floats your boat and if you can do it, fair do it to you. Um, then we have cereal bars are also a B option. So we do uh, our hi-fi bars in group. You can also get them in uh, Iceland. Iceland and Balancholic and also Iceland in... Um, 
Douglas by the, the by Rose and they're also in Middleton. I think they deliver in Middleton, but that's the only one of those that do. Um, those are high in fibre and there are three sins each or two of them are a healthy beet choice. Now you could be clever about it. You could have one wheat bix and maybe one high fibre. Um, so you could have something for your lenses as well. And that would just be your one healthy beet. Some people love to keep it so that they have the two high fibre bars for free. And they use the likes to say egg wraps and stuff like that instead. That's another thing to be careful of lads, wraps. They are high in sins. It could be anything from nine to 11 sins each. Um, if you get the Fitzgerald multi season series, it's an orange and plastic clear uh, packet. Um, one of those be your healthy beet choice. So be careful because just because they're thin, they're not low in sins. All right. Uh, another beet choice that we can have is um, dried fruit, canned fruit or cooked fruit. Now, these would normally attract a sin value because they're not fruit in their, in their normal um, format. Um, but if you're using them as a healthy bee choice, then you can. So you could use the likes of, say, prunes, or you could have um, a stewed apple or something like that as your one healthy bee choice. Um, so what we've learned so far, unlimited free foods, no way in counting or measuring, having at least uh, a third speed with each of our main meals were practical. Um, two healthy extras, or healthy extra A's, are our calcium, so our milk and cheese. Definitely need to weigh and measure those. And then or uh, hit the extra B, where we also need to weigh and measure that. Um, final part of the program, lads, very much in your control, is our sins. Now, up to 16 stone in weight, we have five to 15 sins a day to use. Uh, you don't carry over any excess that you haven't used from the day before. Once midnight comes, like Cinderella slipper, it disappears. Um, up to 20 stone of weight, we have five to 20 sins a day, and in excess of 20 stone, we have five to 25 sins. Um, lads, and uh, these times I actually, and I don't mean generic lads, I mean our guys. Um, the they, they guys actually get an extra 10 sins, so you're adding 10 sins onto those. Um, so very much in your control, it's a limit rather than a target, guys. So on box standard days, try not to maximize them out and, and maybe go for five or 10 sins. Um, and then on the days when you absolutely need to use them, um, do so. Because if you're relying on those sins, then they become a bit of a crutch. So what I would do is use the main program or food optimize. All the free and speed foods on page 12 to 25 to fill up on. Then our healthy extras, we have to have those. So that's where we should actually be sort of using most of our foods. And then a little bit uh, of the, the uh, sins and what we like. Um, after that then we have um, the synopsis again, so unlimited free food, no way in counting or measuring, two healthy extras and the last piece of the puzzle is 5 to 15 sins or whatever our, our sin allocation is. Why does Slimming World work so well on food optimising? Because we have discovered that people fill up on the bulk of food, the volume of food that they eat, not the calories, not fairness. Which are you going to fill up more on as the pace is? Three sweets which we could actually have if we food optimise, um, or a whole meal roll, two breasts of chicken, and a watermelon. No, I think it's self-explanatory. That's why it works so effective, lads. That's why we get our weight off. Lots of sort of info in the next few pages, but we've scooped through those, and I'll leave you to do those yourself. Um, and the next page I want to bring you to is page 50. Page 50 shows us how to do our diaries. Okay. Our diaries are where we record what we actually eat during the week. And they're my window into um, seeing how your food optimizing it is there's something that can help you with or a better sort of way uh, of using the sims so i have a big day for one here which i'm sure you'll be jelly jealous of um your ones are slightly smaller than this but the same principle now i don't want any ghost stories lads so i want the name to go up here first and week either one to four because you're going to be doing one of these for me for four weeks as you bite right because otherwise we get selective amnesia. The devil is in the detail. Don't just put down salad. I want to know what's in the salad, be a fruit or veg or, or whatever. Um, so first box here, we have three circles. Each one represents a day and there are four in the back of the page as well. It runs along this way, day one, two and three. The very first box we have here is speed. So when we're looking at our foods, where we see that S symbol, that's what we're writing in here. So typically it would be um or veg or salad or less sweet fruits so apples oranges pears melons um or, or broccoli or cabbage or carrots or, or tomatoes lettuce 
all in there so fill that box and that's the lowest calorie diet so really take advantage of it the next food um that we're going to be um writing out is our free food so everything that we discussed in those page 12 to 25 that isn't speed would be in this box here so it would be our meat our fish our eggs our pasta uh, our potatoes the more sweet fruits the bananas the kiwis grapes all those in these two boxes i want you to absolutely burst those two boxes guys because that's the free unlimited food that's where we're really going to sort of fill up not feel hungry and be in control then we have our two a choices our milk and cheese our one b choice and then finally this box here your sin values i need to see each item and the actual sins there be sure to look up the sin values first guys because many a member has come and went oh he thought it was only two sins and it was 12 uh and we don't want to be doing that um if it says level spoons make sure it is level because if you're heaping you'll be tripling the sin value of them if it says for 100 grams make sure it is 100 gram if your drink is a 35 ml measure and you're at home make sure you haven't slipped into a 50 ml measure and again sneaky sins coming in and sort of sabotaging your weight losses um, so that's just the diary the next part that i want to show you guys is on page 57 very important all the generic sin values are all in these pages they're in alphabet order so go to this and um, mark them with your highlight pen um we have extracta alcohol which isn't sin free guys and just in terms of the alcohol guys um wine i i, I sort of regard a little bit like liquid chocolate a lot of members when they come into group do drink wine but when they see that an average glass of red wine is 12 and a half cents an average glass of white wine which it would be 250 ml measure would be 11 and a half cent they say prosecco should that's lighter no it's not we're drinking it in 125 ml flu glasses that's why it's lighter if you drink in the same wine glass it's exactly the same as your wine um now an average glass of a bottle of wine would be about 40 cents now the good news is switch the spirits a 35 ml measure of spirits and i'm talking about whiskey brandy gin bacardi vodkas all of those with a, a diet drink is literally four cents per measure so a gin is a night tonic four cents a bacardi and diet coke a vodka and diet orange four cents so you can nearly have three of those drinks to the other um now if you're drinking lager your lager drinker it's 12 cents for a pint of lager it's nine cents for a can of Coors light rockshire light tends to be around the lightest of it but you won't get that out in the pub on draft um cider is very high it's about 14 cents as well a pint so just be careful of those the lower the calorie the lower the sin in the drink as well so um that's where the course like will be lighter uh if you also go to page 79 guys um i think there's a very interesting spot eating out the food optimizing way we're not saying slats covid has been lifted and we are going out and we are eating so we need to make good choices we don't want to ruin our weight loss just because we decided to go out and have a meal we want to enjoy it um so everything is there from a chinese to italian to coffee shop so we can make those choices before we go out have a look at the, the, the menu online and decide oh yeah if i'm going to italian i'll have something with a red sauce why not have the lamb rogan josh for 10 and a half sins as opposed to the 26 odd sins for the the, the korma um if you go to the page on page 80 we can have our takeaway chinese and thai we could have a chicken chop suey for um eight and a half cents as long as we're having boiled rice and boiled noodles now if you forget to ask for boiled noodles and they give you fried noodles it's 18 cents just for the noodles alone it's about six and a half to seven cents depending on the portion of the, the with the fried rice we can make our own basically very very for very little or even free um and who's to say we have to eat the full portion of chinese in one sitting because they're quite big um why not do it over two days and 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 just fill it up again with veg and uh, and uh, boiled rice and half the sins as well going forward um should I will guys the other part of the program is our body magic so we want to try and build up a little bit uh of sort of activity that will keep our we lose a certain amount of muscle when we lose weight as well so we want to preserve that and um, so doing a little bit uh, we would recommend at least 45 minutes of activity in a week and um, it's basically um according to your own sort of uh, level of fitness 
So if you're already out there, guys, and you're doing two hours of activity, build in a bit uh, of resistance to it. Maybe walk up a hill instead of down a hill. And don't be cutting it back to 45 minutes, because I said we recommend at least 45 minutes of activity. There are lots of activity uh, videos online. Um, so have a look at the Lifeline online for every range uh, of fitness, from Zumba right to somebody having to sit in their chair and exercise from their chair. So lads, that's the food optimizing book in a nutshell. I wish you the best of luck uh, in your, your food optimizing and in maximizing that weight loss. And I guarantee you guys, if you keep to the basics as I've explained it and keep reading that food optimizing book, you'll absolutely get great results. Thanks very much. Talk to you in group soon. Bye.